Hey guys, good evening. It's Mike Fruman from Mike's Eating Sports Cards. We're doing a video box break for the good folks at Sports Collectors Daily, and tonight we're breaking open a box of 2017 Topps Gallery. Topps Gallery is a kind of an interesting release because it's only retail. Eh, not so much a fan. You're only going to find these in Walmart, apparently. Eh, not so much a fan. Product appears to be incredible. It's a about 150 card base set. All the cards are um, based upon one of, or excuse me, based upon drawings, just like Topps Gallery always has. So they actually do have the one of one sketch cards randomly thrown in. It's a pretty interesting product, especially the autograph selection. You can look for Hall of Fame autographs featuring Hank Aaron, Ozzy Smith, Robin Yount, Al Kaline, Sandy Koufax, and Rod Carew. And the current player selection is really impressive as well. It's Aaron Judge, uh, Jose Altuve, Chris Bryant, Mike Trout, Carlos Correa. Um, and some of the retired guys in there include Griffey Jr., Ryan Sandberg, Poppy, Jeter. And they also do have cut signatures. There are autographs from Dizzy Dean, Hank Greenberg, Jim Catfish Hunter, uh, Warren Spawn, and more. This is one of the collector boxes. It does contain 20 packs. Hopefully there are 20 good packs. And uh, perhaps you're seeing this for the first time as well. Let's try to do that a little bit better. You got a knife. It works. Let's not destroy things. Yes, I have opened boxes before. Alrighty. Ta da! Alright, our videographer has to do how many pages of reading tonight? 60. Alrighty, so I'll try to be reasonably fast but showy at the same time. I'll be bad book. Is that okay? Yeah. Alright. Plus, the bad book. What's this? It's a bad book. It's a bad book? What book? Um, Monkey Bridge. Monkey Bridge. Tell us all about Monkey Bridge. You haven't read it yet, so you don't know. No, I'm on chapter 9. Okay. Is it enthralling? No. No. Okay. Neither is this video so far. <laughs> As a shop owner, i got to tell you, I'm not a fan of retail-only releases. No big surprise there. Um, I understand why they exist. I mean, Walmart and Target each spend considerable amounts of money with tops, so I can certainly understand why they want an exclusive product. But you know what? I don't sell toothpaste, I don't sell jeans, and I don't sell TV. My entire living is based upon selling packs and boxes. And when there's a set that's put out there, especially one that has a bit of a hobby history, I'm not a fan of it only going to retail. It'd be nice if at least one of the versions was made available to retail, excuse me, hobby shops. But again, I'm not spending what Walmart is spending this year on sports cards, even though it feels like I did, especially baseball. So, again, I understand why it exists. I'm simply not a fan. I wonder how much of that people actually heard over all the rapper noise. Not much. Yeah, I get it. Maybe that's a good thing. Probably. There you go. Alrighty. We're going to see if we got one of the original one of one art cards. Uh, there are short prints in this set. Anything above number 150 is a short print. I won't have a chance to look at those as we go through, but we'll see how well we did. Seeger, Rodon, Buster Posey, Lewis Brinson, rookie card, Giolito, Eduardo Rodriguez. Here's a Mike Trout masterpiece. That's an insert card. Luke Weaver, Alex Reyes, rookie card, Brian Dozier, Archie Bradley, Miguel Sano. Looks like he's about to smile there. It's kind of like Mona Lisa-esque. Is he smiling? I don't know. Justin Boer, Boer. Hunter Renfro, rookie card. Hey, Charlie Blackman looking awesome with a beard. By the way, you may have noticed that I did shave. It was voluntary. I am a... It was a year since a friend of mine passed away. I didn't really tell everybody that's why I didn't shave for so long. But I had a friend who passed, and he had a really big beard. And once we got to the year-long point, I was kind of done to pay tribute. So in case you're wondering, that's why I'm uh, not exactly going to pass any cotton ball tests soon. But there you have it. Mom All right, you. back to the cards. Suspedas, here's our first parallel. Michael Conforto, numbered 15 out of 50. Here is Taiwan Walker, J.D. Martinez. Manny Machado, we still haven't seen one of our autographs yet, no problem. Mark Trumbo. Jim Palmer, numbered out of 250. Orlando Arcia, 
rookie card, a rookie card of Jordan Montgomery, Chris Sale, Chris Davis, Max Scherzer, Adrian Gonzalez, pulled a nice disappearing act late in the year, Markel Franco, Daniel Morris, Matt Carpenter, there's an insert of Richie Ashburn, one of the Hall of Fame ones, Joey Bautista, Felix Hernandez, Jake Arrieta, I think we got our autograph coming up. David Dahl. Oops, I am mistaken. That's what happens when I'm not familiar with the product. All right, here is a Mark McGuire insert card. Justin Verlander. Anthony Alford. Hunter Dozier, rookie. Manny Margot, rookie. DJ LeMahieu, one of the most underrated guys in the league. A featured artist card of Dan Bergen. Ta-da! Trey Mancini. Guriel, rookie card. Eric Thames, Yelrich, is that an autograph? There we go. Here we have Dinsel Lemet. I'm sure I completely messed that one up. <laughs> Sorry. A Carson Fulmer rookie card. Jackie Bradley Jr., Sierra. There is Matt Duffy. Mike Piazza, Hall of Fame Gallery. Tyler Austin. And we're about halfway through. Let's see what the other half has. Jose De Leon, rookie card. Oh, cool. Alex Bregman, rookie card. Jesse Winker, rookie. Greg Maddox, masterpiece insert. Joe Musgrove. Clayton Kershaw. Matt Kemp. Freddie Freeman. Here's a Kershaw private issue parallel, numbered out of 250. Ooh, ah, uh, oh. Ronaldo Lopez. George Springer. Ketel Marte, Cole Hamels. Is that our second autograph? Yes, it is. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at a loss here. It's Guriel. Oh, boy. Have fun with this one, guys. I love, I love it when you guys butcher me for not getting names right, which I probably should do. I mean, I do own a baseball card shop. Uliski Guriel. Doesn't appear to be individually numbered. Trey Turner, Severino. Lamette, there's Kutch, Ricky Henderson, Masters, Marquez, Tulo, clap, 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 no, I thought you would do it, Hanley Ramirez, Trevor Story from the Rockies, Roberto Clemente, Hall of Fame Gallery, Dansby Swanson, Rookie Card, who do we have here, Grychuk, Blake Snell, Tim Anderson, another Private issue, Jose De Leon, numbered out of 250. Kendall Graveman, there's Benatende. There, boy. Antonio Sanzantella. And our first Aaron Judge of the evening. Ta da! He doesn't look so tall on there. Greg Maddox, masterpiece insert. Stephen Piscotti. Jose Barrios. Corey Kluber. John Carlos Stanton. Oh, another individual numbered card, numbered out of 250. Tyler Anston. There is Steven Matz. Chris Bryant is all right by me. Edwin Encarnacion. Syndergaard. Hall of Fame of Lou Gehrig. And then there were three. Carlos Gonzalez, and one of his last Rockies cards, it appears. Will Myers. And we end things tonight with an Ian Happ. Let's go ahead and go through the inserts and parallels again. Sorry, if you really want to get to reading, I'll go fast. Okay. It's fun. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Autograph. Kershaw. Maddox. Piazza. Our second autograph. McGuire. Ashburn. Palmer at a 250. Conforto at a 50. And that looks better to end things with Mike Trout. Well, boys and girls, um, after opening up a box, I really like it. I really wish this had been made available to hobby shops. And, uh, well, perhaps it'll change next year. Or perhaps it'll just go to Walmart once again. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our videos. And uh, make sure you check out your local card shop on December 9th. We're hosting National Hobby Shop Day. At least I am. Hopefully your local card shop is as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our videos. And we look forward to sharing more with you soon.